Okay, now that we've finished aligning the lasers, it's time to do the final assembly. And so we're going to put the top cover on the rake plate, which is the guard over front of the lasers, and then the trunk plates. And so I'm going to get Pete to help me here. Now, if you can zoom in, the, this slot in the top cover should align with the slots in these channels so that we can install the rake, the rake plate. And so you'll notice that there's some, some little hooks right here on the rake plate. And so I'm going to insert it and then rotate it down. So insert it, sort of push it back, and rotate it down. And it will sit in there just fine, and it actually keeps the top cover lined up. Now, the last step is to install the trunk plates. These are AR500 steel, but please notice if there's any bow in this plate, then we want the bow to be pointing toward the back. So we stick it in down at the bottom and then pull it up and then we use the supplied carriage bolts. Now, a bit of advice. Be very careful installing this nut because if you drop it down in the tube, it's going to be very difficult to get it out. And now we have completed the assembly. The only thing that's left is for us to install the, uh, the, the spall guard or this piece of AstroTurf that we use to keep the splatter from bouncing all over the range. And so it's important to line up, if you can zoom in, there are holes in this piece of AstroTurf that allow the lasers to go through it. But this AstroTurf does a great job of capturing the spall to prevent it from bouncing around in the range. And now we'll place the target system at the desired uh, 12 yards and we'll be ready to shoot the target.